there will come a point where no job is needed, but the AI will be able to do everything. Have you heard about Grok? The inaugural creation from Elon Musk's freshly established AI firm called XAI. Well, if you haven't, you're in luck. Just this past week, XAI released a statement introducing Grok as a new AI from Elon Musk, inspired by the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. According to the company, Grok is a new AI designed to possess a touch of humor, a hint of rebelliousness, and the ability to tackle the provocative questions that other AI systems like ChatGPT might shy away from. Still as an initial beta release, Grok is said to be a crucial component of Elon Musk's broader vision for XAI, a firm he co-founded after his departure from OpenAI, focusing on unraveling the mysteries of the universe. XAI's stated mission is to develop artificial intelligence to advance our collective understanding of the universe. Musk has previously voiced concerns that today's AI development leans too much toward politically correct systems. XAI's mission, as such, is to create AI that is inclusive of people from diverse backgrounds and political viewpoints. Grok is positioned as a way to test this AI approach in a public setting. What makes Grok different from other AI systems is its ability to tap into data on X, also formerly known as Twitter. By doing this, the AI will be able to furnish users with real-time information. Also, even though at this stage of its release, the AI mostly caters to users in the US, especially those subscribed to Twitter Premium Plus. It also runs on a 33 billion parameter large language model, featuring an 8,000 token context window. The latest version of the product, which is Grok 1, has already demonstrated impressive performance on these benchmarks in initial tests, focused on middle school math problems and Python coding tasks. In the process of these tests, the system outperformed models like ChatGPT 3.5 and approached the capabilities of Google's Palm 2, although it still trails behind GPT 4, which has a larger data set. It's an improvement on the generative AI market that lets us know once more that the market itself is poised for significant growth. In line with this, the generative AI market has already been projected to surge from a 2023 valuation of $11.3 billion to $76.8 billion by 2030, with a compound annual growth rate of 31.5%. Key drivers of this growth will encompass advancements in AI and deep learning a surge in content creation and escalating demand for creative applications. North America, led by the US, is already anticipated to be the dominant market force during this surge. However, on the road to the market increasing and growing, some challenges will be faced by operators. Challenges such as ensuring the quality and mitigating bias in AI outputs, and dealing with the competition meted out by major industry players like Microsoft, IBM, Google, AWS, Meta, Adobe, OpenAI, and in silico medicine. The impact on businesses and industries will also be substantial because, for instance, Grok already acts as a potent research assistant, providing swift access to information and data processing, thereby fostering innovation across diverse sectors. The new AI system has the ability to access real-time data, unlike other AI systems, so with it, we will see just how much potential there has always been to revolutionize how businesses engage with AI, offering them the latest information for informed decision-making. Also, we know that Musk's strategy involves integrating the AI assistant into X, with the goal of transforming X into a super app, comparable to WeChat in the Western market. However, contrary to what critics may think, Musk's dream may not be so far-fetched. Yes, there's quite a crowded market in the generative AI space, but Grok sets itself apart through its distinctive personality, aiming to cultivate a loyal following with its edgy persona. On the other on the other hand, there are some adoption challenges it will face due to its exclusive paid model and the necessity to shift user behavior from a passive to an interactive experience. Nonetheless, it's a known fact that the launch of Grok represents a significant stride in the realm of generative AI, potentially shaping the future landscape of personal AI assistance and providing businesses with a cutting-edge tool for innovation and growth.
In anticipation of the launch of Grok, Elon Musk shared an example on X where Grok responded to a request for a step-by-step -step cocaine recipe, humorously saying, Oh sure, just a moment while I pull up the recipe for homemade cocaine. You know, because I'm totally going to help you with that. Musk also showed how Grok benefits from access to data from X by posting a side-by-side -side comparison of Grok's response compared to another AI bot, showing that Grok has a more competitive edge since it has more up-to-date information. However, when XAI launched their statement introducing the AI system, they notably remained cautious, acknowledging that despite the power and many benefits of Grok, the system can, like any other large language model, generate false or contradictory information. Current information on the system is that it's still in the prototype phase, and even the prototype is currently in its early beta phase, having undergone only two months of training and being available to a select group of users for testing before a wider release. In the meantime, though, interested users can also join a waitlist for a chance to utilize the bot, and Musk revealed that Grok will eventually become a feature of X Premium Plus, priced at $16 per month. Now, if we're getting into particulars, the name Grok actually originates from Robert A. Heinlein's 1961 science fiction novel, Stranger in a Strange Land. And in the book, Grok is a Martian term without a direct translation to Earthly languages. With that, critics have, over the years, debated its precise meaning. But in the end, they generally agree that it implies a profound and intuitive understanding. Merriam-Webster also defines it as a transitive verb, meaning to understand profoundly and intuitively. And this works in line with the purpose for which XAI was created by Elon Musk. At the time of the firm's creation, Elon Musk stated that the purpose behind XAI was to understand the true nature of the universe. And one could say that's similar to the meaning of Grok and what Grok's all about, helping mankind understand truths of the universe profoundly and intuitively. XAI, which was launched in July, comprises a team with a strong background in former employees from OpenAI, DeepMind, and other organizations. The company is actively recruiting for various positions and isn't stopping its work anytime soon. However, with the publication of Grok, we, who will be potential future users, have a job to do, weighing the pros and cons. When we do that, we then see a couple of things to note about Grok. First is the fact that one challenge with existing LLMs, such as ChatGPT, is the perception that they have been excessively sanitized for political correctness, potentially diminishing the spontaneity and authenticity of interactions. Additionally, some localized LLMs struggle with sustained engagement. However, Grok, boasting its fun mode, aims to address this gap, presenting itself as an enjoyable diversion for those seeking relaxation. Also, while the concept of Grok is not entirely novel, as Quora's Poe provides a similar service with finely tuned chatbots featuring distinct personalities, Grok's integration into an LLM with its advanced capabilities brings an elevated experience to the table. However, cost is a significant consideration in evaluating the value of any product, and Grok is no exception. The chatbot will be accessible to users willing to pay $16 per month for the privilege of interacting with it. Now, the question that will follow is, is it worth it? Because in comparison to free alternatives like Claude 2 and ChatGPT equipped with GPT 3.5 Turbo, Grok might face challenges in convincing users, especially given the reputation of these free models for their accuracy, which in some benchmarks surpass that of Grok. Moreover, even the formidable GPT-4 holds the promise of surpassing Grok's capabilities, with the added benefits of widespread accessibility, multimodality, and enhanced power. Elon Musk's ambitious claims regarding Grok have set the stage for high expectations. However, whether these expectations will be met is a different story altogether. For instance, a closer examination reveals a potential disparity between hype and reality. Grok's training, consisting of 33 billion parameters and a few months of development, appears dwarfed in comparison to other LLM giants. And while the idea of an engaging, fictional personality is appealing, expecting groundbreaking results using standard training methods might be overly optimistic. This is just one instance of many that tell us yes, the AI community is accustomed to hyperbole, but with rapid advancements in the field, users must also discern through the hype. Attaining super AI status 
poses a monumental challenge, and Grok, with its existing configuration and training, may not meet the criteria. Certainly, Elon Musk attempted to showcase Grok's capabilities by comparing its conversational chatbot with a smaller LLM trained for coding. However, it was unequivocally an uneven competition. Alright guys, that's all for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. Do stay watchful and take care.